bridge blunder involves children designing and building bridges using pieces of paper and testing them to see which are strongest. It fits with the D&T curriculum as it involves making structures stronger and it could enrich the year five topic properties and changes of materials. The resources for this activity are readily available at school as it only involves sheets of copier paper, sticky tape, 10 gram and 100 gram masses or coins. To set up the gap to be bridged, you will need blocks or books of roughly equal thickness and a ruler to create the 20 centimetre gap for the bridge to span. Discuss with the children whether paper is a good material from which to make a bridge. One piece of paper can be put across the gap between the two supports to make a bridge. You can see that it's already starting to bend as soon as a weight is added, it collapses. The children might suggest that you could make it more suitable for holding a weight by using five sheets of paper or more sheets of paper. So we can then try again. This is using five pieces of paper. You can see it's still collapsing. And when I add a weight, it's still collapsed. Discuss with the children whether there are any ways to make the paper better suited to holding weight as a bridge. Tell the children that they can fold, roll and cut the paper to make it stronger. Give them two pieces of paper to explore their ideas. Then give them five pieces of paper and a small piece of sticky tape to build their first bridge and test it using the weights or coins. Tell the children that the small piece of sticky tape can only be used to join bits of paper together, not to secure their bridge to either end of the gap. Once they have completed their first bridge and tested it, give them a further five pieces of paper and another small piece of sticky tape to build a final bridge, the strongest they can manage. Test all the final designs as a group using the weights to find the bridge that can hold the most. Discuss with the children when testing whether to distribute the weights along the length of the bridge or put all the weight in the middle. Ask the children to identify what features the strongest bridges have. Mm -hmm.